Did you know that last mile delivery, getting your package from the local center to your door, makes up about 50% of the total shipping cost? That's a huge chunk. So what if we told you Amazon is actively developing humanoid robots that could bring that cost down dramatically, possibly coming to your doorstep as early as next year? Get ready, because we're diving into Amazon's super cool and maybe a little bit wild plans for humanoid delivery robots. So what's Amazon been up to? They've been building something straight out of a sci-fi movie in their San Francisco office. It's called a humanoid park. No, it's not a theme park where robots ride roller coasters, although that would be awesome, right? Imagine a space roughly the size of your favorite coffee shop, but instead of comfy chairs and latte art, it's filled with obstacles. We're talking mock doorways, steps, and even a stationary Rivian electric delivery van. This humanoid park is like a super intense training ground for these robots. They practice everything from getting out of the delivery van to carefully placing your package right where it needs to go. Why all this training? Well, outdoor delivery isn't easy. Think about it. Stairs that are too steep, uneven sidewalks, weird porch layouts, even that rogue garden gnome. This facility lets Amazon test how these robots handle all those real-world curveballs they'd encounter in your neighborhood. It's all about making sure they can navigate everything without tripping over a doormat or getting stuck in a bush. Once these robots pass the humanoid park challenges, Amazon plans to send them out on actual field trips to deliver real packages to real homes. Pretty wild, isn't it? Now, how do these robots actually work? Walk. <laughs> of course, not like this. Amazon is taking a smart approach here. They're focusing on developing the brains, the super advanced artificial intelligence software, while getting the body, the actual robot hardware, from other companies. It's like they're building the genius mind and then finding the perfect vehicle for it. Right now, they're playing around with a robot called the Unitree G1. This guy costs about $16,000, which sounds like a lot, but for a cutting edge humanoid robot, it's actually pretty competitive. The Unitree G1 has 23 joint motors. That's a lot of flexibility and special grippers that can feel how much force they're using so they don't crush your fragile package. Its design is also pretty customizable, which is great for Amazon because it means they can easily load their own smart software onto it. You might remember Amazon already testing another robot called Digit from Agility Robotics in their warehouses. Digit is good at repetitive tasks, like moving boxes around inside. But these new humanoid delivery robots? They're built for the great outdoors, for getting right to your front door. It's a completely different ballgame, requiring a whole new level of smarts and agility. So it's not just about picking up a box, it's about navigating the world outside the warehouse. Here's where it gets really interesting. Amazon's robot delivery plan is tied into their massive fleet of Rivian electric delivery vans. You've probably seen these sleek blue vans driving around, right? Amazon already has over 20,000 of them in the US, and they're planning to have 100,000 by 2030. That's a lot of electric vans. Okay, so here's the deal. Amazon's teaming up its Rivian electric vans with these humanoid robots. The human driver handles the wheels, but once they're in your neighborhood, a robot can pop out and deliver to one house while the human takes care of another. This hybrid approach could seriously speed things up, like getting two packages delivered at once. Why all this effort? It's about saving money. That last mile of delivery is super expensive, making up about half your package's total shipping cost. A human delivery cost Amazon around $1.60 but a robot could do it for a tiny six cents. That's a massive difference, helping Amazon cut costs and deal with rising labor expenses and driver shortages. Amazon is facing a few challenges right now. Rising labor costs, not enough drivers in some areas, and everyone wanting their stuff delivered faster and cheaper. These robots could be a game changer. It's not just about cutting costs, it's about building a delivery system that's incredibly efficient and hard for competitors to copy. 
They're trying to create a secret sauce that only they have. Now, it's not all smooth sailing in robot land. While Amazon has had a lot of success with robots in their controlled warehouses, they have over 750,000 robots zipping around inside. Outdoor delivery is a whole different beast. The real world is messy. Think about it. Unpredictable weather, cars, pedestrians, stray dogs, and all sorts of uneven terrain. These are things robots in a warehouse never have to deal with. Amazon previously tested a six-wheel delivery robot, Scout, but it struggled with real-world obstacles like squirrels and porch steps. These past lessons are crucial for developing the smarter AI needed for the new humanoid robots. If these bots come to your door, it raises big questions about regulations. Different states have different rules for autonomous vehicles. Plus, there are concerns about safety protocols, liability if accidents happen, and the potential impact on human delivery jobs. Then there's the whole job situation. If robots are delivering packages, what happens to the hundreds of thousands of people who currently do that job? It's a valid concern, right? Amazon says they see this as expanding their workforce, not replacing humans. The idea is that human employees could focus on more skilled tasks, while the robots handle the more repetitive delivery work. But still, it's something everyone is watching closely. So, what's the timeline here? It seems like Amazon is moving incredibly fast. They're already testing these robots in a special humanoid park in San Francisco. The latest reports, even from June 2025, confirm they're actively developing AI software and trialing robots like the Unitree G1, with plans for real-world delivery trials as early as 2025. They're even working on fancy AI systems that let robots understand natural language commands. So you could, in theory, tell a robot to put the package behind the plant pot. If they pull this off, it could completely change how things get delivered all over the world. Imagine faster, more efficient, and cheaper deliveries becoming the new normal. Amazon is pouring tons of money into robotics and AI, and these humanoid delivery robots aren't just a cool gadget. They're a potential game changer for how we get our stuff. Of course, there are still hurdles. The technology needs to get even better, the rules need to catch up, and people need to get used to the idea of a robot on their porch. But Amazon's careful step-by-step -step approach, testing indoors then gradually moving to real-world deliveries, suggests that these robots might be ringing your doorbell much sooner than you expect. The big question isn't if this technology will arrive, but how quickly it will change everything for delivery drivers, for us as customers, and for all the other companies trying to get our packages to us. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.